this is another video from Easy Electric series and today we are going to introduce the Tiva C series uh, launch pad kit. So as you could see this is actually is the Tiva C series TM4C123G launch pad evaluation kits. So it you actually unbox it. So inside the kit, it comes with the one wire that you see here, and also with the printed circuit board or the launch pad. So you this actually you use the let I put these aside and see what we have here. So, as you could see, this is actually your uh, launch pad. So, the wire that you have, it has one port which you actually connect for the, this side of that. And the other side of that is going to be connect to the USB port on your PC. So, we are going to use the Kale IDE to program this microcontroller, which is the uh, Cortex M4 microcontroller is this one that you see in the center. So, as you could see here, the launchpad has few switch which connected already to some port of this microcontroller. It, it comes with the three different color LED which connected to the I/O uh, pins of this microcontroller, and you easily you could use them for doing some single programming for turning on and off the LED. So one thing about these uh, wires, so don't actually plug unplug these a lot because this port is very fragile. Just connect this one time then actually just unplug with the USB part. If you do that a few times definitely you are going to lose these uh, small ports that you have here. If you take a look to the back side of the box so there is actually few uh, useful information that we could check so the this is Tiva C series it is 64 pins TMC for 123 GH9 sorry GH6 PMI a digital signal controller so it actually work with uh, 80 megahertz 32 bits arm cortex m4 microcontroller so it has a 265 kilobyte flash 32 kilobyte sram and 2 kilobyte ee rom and also it has the dual 12 bit analog to digital converter so here let I just turn this for a while and back to here so as you can see this is Texas Instrument TM4123 microcontroller so you could purchase it in from the different vendors so the best website is the Texas Instrument website you could go there and you could buy so before pandemic you could you could buy it around the 13 box but these days it is a little uh, three box more than this number that you see. If we introduce the uh, computer organization of the launch pad, so definitely the microcontroller that you see here in the center, it is actually a ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller. So it has the Harvard art architecture, which means there is more than one bus between the uh, processor, the free ferals, the RAM, and ROM. So as you could see inside the microcontroller, you could see the OR units that should be there. You have I/O ports, you have the processor, you have some internal free ferals, and you have RAM and ROM with more than bus, one bus communication bus. That's why it is the Harvard architecture. As you can see, everything is, is inside this small uh, chip, which we call that microcontroller. So there is actually a few ports on a uh, launch pad. So here I summarize all of them. So you have actually six ports, which they call that A, B, 
C, D, E, and F. So usually in general, each port has eight pins, but also in some of them, uh, some pins is reserved and technically you couldn't use all the eight bits that you have. So for example, in port uh, C, you just use the four of them and the other four is reserved for other purpose. So that means in the general, you actually have port A, B, C, D, E, and F, and you could use them um, as a input and output in your microcontroller. If you take a look to the data sheet, so you, you see the microcontroller, the CPU is TM4C123GX6PM, and here you exactly see the old port. So see you have port, you, you could see the old port A, B, C, D, E, F pins here. So for example, this is P, E, 0, P, E, 1, 2, 3. This is P, F, 4. So that means each port has a eight pins. So we call that port A or P, A, 0 to port A, uh, 7, right? So P, F, 0, P, F, 1, 2, 3. And the eighth one should be eight. That's what you see here. PE3 means port E uh, pin three. So here we have PC. So see PC4, 5, 6. Again, you could find them. Here you see the PF is there. And the old, uh, this is PD. And the old, uh, you could actually find the, all these six uh, ports here in the pins that you have on the microcontroller. So this is actually the snapshot of the microcontroller. This is a microcontroller that you have TM4C123GX6PM. So here you have the pins, here you have the RGB, the red, green, uh, and blue LEDs. This is the reset button. This is another microcontroller for debugging. We are not going to use that at least in this series of the video. Here is the USB ICDI port, and here is turn four. This switch is for turning on and off. So as I mentioned, these two also is the two switch, which is connected to the port PF0 and also PF4. So the switch one connected to the PF4 and the switch two connected to the PF, uh, PF if I'm not wrong, should be PF0. So these three LED, uh, red, green, blue, they are connected to the uh, PF1, uh, 2, and 3. So that means each one is the specific color in that pin. So that means easily if you want to just do few programming with using the switch as input and turn on some LED, definitely you don't need the uh, breadboard or external circuit. So everything is here on your launchpad and easily you could practice that concept that we have. So as you know, the Cortex M4 microcontroller, these microcontroller that you have is 32 microcontroller. So it means the old registers that you have here is 32 bits. So the data paths are 32 bits and also the old bus interfaces are 32 bits. So you know the uh, ARM Cortex microcontroller is actually the modern microcontroller. We have actually the ARM Cortex A, we have ARM Cortex R, and we have ARM Cortex M. So Cortex A is the high performance. Usually you find them in iPad and cell phone. They are expensive. We have Cortex R, which is the fast responsive. Uh, con microcontroller and finally we have Cortex M. Cortex M has uh, four different types Cortex M0, 3, 4, and 7. They are actually smaller, the lower uh, power microcontroller, and they are very uh, in very reasonable price. So as you can see, we could buy a Cortex M M4 in launch pad for around 16 bucks. So, why this launch pad is the best uh, launchpad or microcontroller to start to learn about the microcontroller. So I list a few things, but there is actually more reason. So this, this actually Cortex M4 is high speed operation microcontroller. They are actually not expensive. So as we could buy with that, just the launchpad for a 16 baht, they actually have high code density and they have many interrupts in this microcontroller. 
and one of the other reason that uh, that I think is advantageous for Launchpad, you could use the Kale and somehow you do some lower lower programming. So that means you don't use any library or any other people's uh, code. That means everything that you are going to do, you actually is the programming from the scratch and you uh, learn about the register how register works and you do everything yourself so after you get the idea about the register and be more familiar with the uh, with the hardware of the microcontroller so then this actually launchpad has the uh, another id which it's called energia so Energia platform, which works with these uh, Cortex M microcontroller and these launchpad, it is exactly similar to the Arduino IDE. So that means whatever you load in the Arduino, you could uh, load in uh, these uh, launchpad. So that means all codes that you have in Arduino, you could exactly use in the Cortex M4 microcontroller. I record a lot of video in the microcontroller uh, playlist go check that which we actually used energy or similar codes that you have for Arduino you could actually use for the energy uh, two I think we have around 18 uh, video over there which is a different application whatever you could do with the Arduino you could do with this one too and the most library the Arduino library works with the energy and these launch but not all of them but most of them, so the popular one usually works and you shouldn't have any problem that using these uh, launchpad. In um, this series, we are going to actually uh, use the Kale uh, IDE and start to uh, learn about these uh, microcontrollers. So in this series again, the, our purpose is uh, not using any uh, library or any other people's code. We want to actually do everything from the scratch and we want to somehow able to uh, touch the registers and able to initialize a uh, register and uh, do uh, whatever we want. So I hope you find uh, these uh, series of the video useful. Thank you for watching this uh, video.